I use different apps and devices to listen to music, depending on where I am or what I'm doing. I use Spotify on my phone, listen to YouTube music when I'm on the computer or working. Navidrome and Mstream are two music streaming apps that I self-host, which I use and installed on various devices that I have, and I've been using them for quite some time. Volumio is what I have hooked up in my living room setup, and it's what I listen to when I want to listen to loud and clear music, and when I have guests. I installed it on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and included a Hi-Fi Berry DAC Plus hat. It's uh, performing well and very few complaints. Uh, the important thing for me is that uh, it sounds good. The way I set it up is headless and I would control it using my uh, my phone through the Volumio app or a web browser. Sometimes it's not the most convenient thing to do to always pull out your phone when making adjustments. Or if my guests want to make a, a song selection, I would usually have to do it for them rather than have them make a selection themselves. Today, I will rebuild my Volumio Pi to include a touchscreen interface. Volumio supports most uh, music formats. Uh, it supports Spotify, Tidal, Cobuzz, as well as internet radio like TuneIn. If you log into your YouTube account using Volumio, you can also search and play YouTube music. It may not be perfect, but it's an option that's available. This setup that I will be doing today can also be applied using Rune. Rune is similar to Volumio in function, but you will, you will need two additional things. Actually, you need three things. You need to have a paid Rune account. You need to have Rune Core installed on your computer. And then you need to set up your endpoint, which would be the Raspberry Pi that we're creating right now. Let's start by disassembling and reassembling the Volumio Pi. Volumio will start up upside down, and this is normal. We can easily fix this using the web interface or on the touchscreen itself. Install the plugin Touch Display. Go to Settings, then under Orientation Settings, rotate the screen content by 180 degrees. If you're using Rune and installed Ropi, it should auto configure by itself.
The main reason for having an endpoint like Volumio or Rune installed is because you don't want to jump from one app to another to play your music. With Volumio or Rune, your music library is aggregated and accessed all from the same interface, which is very convenient. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.